All right, so this question and the next two questions, I want to do them together in a set because they're in a kind of the same category of topics and they are kind of easy questions. <laughs> so when I edit this video later, I want to have a kind of one that's a reasonable length, like five to 10 minutes. So let me do this question and then we'll do next two questions in the same group. So this says the following figure shows a light bulb that's between two spherical mirrors. Uh, that's interesting. So one mirror produces a beam of light with a parallel rays. I guess that's the one on the right. Okay. The other keeps light from escaping without being put into the beam. Uh, that's interesting. Where is the filament of the light in relation to the focal point or radius of curvature of each mirror? Yeah. The one on the right is, I think, easier to describe because uh, you can think of it two different ways. One is where the light rays that are coming from this point, they, after hitting that optical element, they go in a parallel line. Or you can actually imagine reversing the direction of the light rays. These parallel rays coming in, after reflecting off the mirror, they all converge on the same point, which tells you this. On this diagram, that where this filament is, this is the focal length of this mirror. And as you might remember from the textbook section, for a curved mirror, there's a really simple formula for focal length. Focal length is just the radius of curvature. Um, I'm trying to remember, is it divided by 2, multiplied by 2? I think it's a divide by 2, one of those two. So the radius of curvature, the center of this mirror should be somewhere out here. And with this mirror, I think uh, what I'm seeing is that this must be the radius of curvature of this mirror. And the way I'm seeing it is all these light rays, they are instant perpendicular on the mirror. That would explain it going in, coming out exactly the same direction. So if it's doing that, then... Uh, yeah, this must this filament must must be right at the center, which means distance here is the radius of the curvature. So I'm looking for this is a multiple choice question. So you could technically answer it by abusing your infinite attempts. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the one choice that matches with the description I was giving. Filament is at the focal point of left mirror. No, that's not right. It's not at the focal. So focal point of the left mirror is actually somewhere over here half the, uh, the radius of curvature. Um, filament is at one radius of curvature away from the left mirror. Yeah, and one, okay, not that. The filament is at one radius of curvature away from the left mirror, yeah. And at the focal point of the right mirror, yeah, that's right. So I think that should be right, let's see. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of that down, yeah. Yeah, so that's the correct answer. And, um, you know, this kind of qualitative question, I think it's a good practice to uh, get a sense of, uh, start building your intuition for geometric optics so that you can um, kind of get a bearing without having to do a bunch of calculations. And is that what the hint was saying? Yeah, I think that's all random. Close to what I was saying. Okay. So let's look at the next question. Uh, that's 1-2. Uh, it's okay. So this is the next question. It says, calculate the focal length of a mirror formed by the shiny back of the spoon. Okay, let me just make sure I have the right mental image. So we are talking about a convex mirror, kind of, uh, that has uh, some radius of curvature. Or, uh, yeah, radius of curvature. So it's R. We are given that. 4.5 centimeters. Ah, so focal length, is, so this is going to be a negative number. Because if you are imagining looking at this um, uh, curved mirror from over here, then this is a diverging mirror, the light rays that come in. So they, and the, this is the ray tracing rule. Uh, parallel rays, they will look like they are coming from the, um, the focal point. And the light ray that was going towards the focal point um, and the right light ray that was going towards the, the center, this uh, vertex of the thing, they will follow the usual normal uh, law of reflection, same angles here. So, um, so these two rays will appear to cross here. So you will, um, so for an object that's here, that'll form a virtual image here. 
um, smaller diverging lens or diverging optics. So um, you, you have this formula that I cited earlier that this uh, focal length of a mirror optic is, um, well, the absolute value anyway. That's the radius of curvature divided by 2. So here you have to manually put in that um, you expect minus sign because this, this is diverging optics. So minus and half of 4.5, I think I know that, 2.25. Um, so that should be the correct answer. Let's uh, see if uh, <laughs> um, it might not have been programmed incorrectly or did I make a mistake? The question might have an um, error. Um, so, okay, I fixed the question because and, uh, you know, I'm glad I was able to fix it. Oh, and uh, I guess when I refreshed it, kept all the seed, so these numbers are the same, but this got regraded as correct, which is right, correct answer. And, you know, the way I fixed it, it'll also accept the positive answer as being correct. Because, uh, um, you know, it's one of those circumstances where even though the negative answer is truly correct, the main part here is getting the, the remembering this formula. The focal length of uh, mirror curved mirror optics comes from radius curvature divided by two. So as long as that number is correct, uh, even if the sign is wrong, that's fine. Except it is correct. Okay, let's get to the third and the last question in this set, and let's uh, look at this question. Let me, I don't think I need these drawings anymore. So let me clear it. It says some telephoto cameras use a mirror rather than a lens, right? Uh, telephoto cameras, uh, cameras, I'm not sure. Telescopes, definitely. Uh, <laughs> what radius of curvature mirror is needed to replace uh, this um, focal length of telephoto lens? Oh, yeah, that's kind of simple application of that formula that I've been citing. Uh, focal length of a curved mirror is its radius of curvature divided by 2. So if our focal length is that, 761, then for R, uh, I multiply that by 2. I think I can do that in my head. 15 to 2 millimeters, hopefully. If not, I'll use calculator and kick it. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's a pretty uh, a long radius of curvature, like a mirror. Um, so, you know, practically speaking, you're taking a really small section of the sphere. So uh, you are not you don't actually have to have a 1.5 meter long thing. It's just, you know, it just won't appear curved all that much. All right, so that's the uh, last question in this uh, set. Um, simple questions dealing with the mirror optics, um, this formula a lot of times, and just uh, thinking through that mirror optics.